So how's your Comic Con going? It's pretty great, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of exhausting. But uh, did you just but come out tonight to do this, or you, have you been here all week, or what? No, 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 no. no. I'm like, we were working all week, like okay. at night until like 4 a.m. And so Sounds I just fun. flew in yesterday. I forgot my pants in the dryer, so I had to go shopping for like four hours. I couldn't find anything. I ended up finding these at Macy's. Just blue, very blue. Hi, blue. Um, so yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's just great to see, you know, after a, a first season to to see to do a panel with fans who have actually seen the show. Uh, and so, like the people who are there are like, giving us the love, and and it's uh, it feels good. <laughs> it's encouraging to certainly to like keep working our ass off and then deliver a, a great second season. Yeah. Where are you I, filming this year? Uh, same, Albuquerque, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, still okay. And the episodes I've read so far, I mean, we've shot, we're shooting three and four now. Um, one and two were maybe like my favorite script so far. It, was, it, it really, I think it went up a notch and it's really finding tonally, I think, what works and, and what, you know, doing more of what works and less of what didn't. <laughs> So there, is, there, is there a moment or scene coming up in these first few episodes that you cannot wait for the fans to see? Um, yeah. Well, okay. So let's say with that black goo that sort of uh, is coming out of, 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 of Manfred sort of um, hints at uh, that there's something you know lurking underneath and, and it's going to require like extreme measures to 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 take it out of him. Oh wow, okay. Uh, so that, that's that's what I'll say. <laughs> so where's Creep in yeah. the new season? Well she's there. Um, she, she's not coming at, back as a regular but she's there are certain things that are happening in Midnight. I mean, the first season was pretty traumatic for her character. Uh, you know, her family was composed of serial killers or serial killer, killer apologists. Uh, so uh, she had to... I mean, she's been through a lot, and, and, and just being with Manfred at this point is, is very hard for her because, again, there's just, you know, like she's sleeping with the enemy. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Uh, so she's she, and also she's a she's an amb ambitious young lady. She doesn't know if she wants to stay in a small town and just work at home cooking forever. So she, so she, she she's thinking about pursuing her studies uh, outside of midnight and and you know she's she, she'll, she'll 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 be back and forth. She'll be back and forth. But she 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 certainly will go see if she can find herself elsewhere for for a minute. And I'm glad that we didn't see the last of Zelda. I was yeah. the scissors. Yeah. Um, is she going to be like recurring this season? Well, I can't tell you how how often she'll be back, but she's definitely back, and she's back for uh, crucial moments, crucial scenes. Yeah. What can you tell us about the premiere episode? It just goes like it just goes really dark. Like I mean, Manfred is is th this demonic cancer that he's uh, ex experiencing, that he has to live through, is uh, is really overwhelming to him, and and uh, and he becomes the the main threat very early on uh, to, to to the Midnighters and the people he loves. Manfred actually, you said that Creek was having a rough year. Manfred had a rough year. Like, yeah. Not have, Manfred like, had a rough year, but he doesn't have a say in it. You know, like, it's just, um, uh, I was actually going to mention that. He, he seems to be kind of like just pushed from one thing to another, and he's always kind of like chasing after, like trying to keep up. Um, is he going to get like a chance to kind of take control? He takes the. Well, yeah. No, no, for sure. For sure. He's like, he's owning up to his role as, as you know, savior of the town. And, 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 and. I think is more in control of his powers for sure. I mean, not in the not at the very beginning, uh, but certainly later on, he's embracing his role as a hero and and uh, and, and and is becoming sort of addicted uh, to helping others. You know, he used to be such a selfish guy, and and now I think it, he realizes that helping others makes him feel good about himself and. And it doesn't mean that he succeeds all the time, but uh, and so that takes a toll too, because now that he's putting so much pressure on himself, it's uh, when he can't uh, rise to the occasion. It's <laughs> it's kind of humbling. <laughs> okay, we're gonna set it.
Oh, oh she's going to send some, awesome. some new uh, residents coming to Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, do they interact with Manfred? Uh, very much so. Uh, uh, Kai uh, is, is the owner of the hotel and he has um, a following already that it brings a lot of tourists, tourists, <laughs> yeah, to, to, to midnight. Um, and and Manfred is suspicious of that, but also I think a bit threatened by it, you know, sort of envious of, of, of the new savior coming to town. Um, and so he, he becomes friendly with Patience, Kai's wife. Um, they find themselves in a situation where they have to, to, to they have a common enemy, and uh, it, you know, they, it forms a bond and, and, and perhaps even a hint of a romance with a married woman. Oh, Manfred making more good choices. Yeah, great, more great choices, <laughs> yeah. yes.